Once you start to accumulate data and worksheets in your workbooks, you need some quick ways to navigate. Be sure to watch to the end because as well as the obvious tools, I'm going to share some shortcuts that aren't immediately obvious. The scroll bars are an obvious tool for accessing cells that are outside the current view. You can left click and drag the scroll bar to move it along or you can left click in the blank space either side of the scroll bar. We can use the arrow buttons to move one cell at a time, likewise with the horizontal scroll bar. The scroll bar resizes according to the number of pages of data you have. So here you can see my horizontal scroll bar takes up almost the whole space available. This is because my four columns of data are visible on the current sheet. So if I scroll across, it'll take me to the next page and the scroll bar is resized. If I go back to the visible data, it resizes to show me that I don't actually need to move very far at all. Whereas the vertical scroll bar is tiny, indicating that I have many, many pages of data. Now I can quickly scroll to the very end of my data by left clicking and dragging. It will stop at the very last row of data. And if I go down one more row, you can see that's the end. You can also use the page up and page down keys to navigate a page at a time. The home key will take you to the very first cell on the current row and control home will take you to the very top left cell in the worksheet. Similarly, control end will take you to the very last active cell in the worksheet. We can navigate to other sheets in the workbook, holding down control and then page down and page up. Of course, we can also use our mouse to select the different worksheet tabs. And if you have multiple workbooks open, you can navigate to them using the control key and then pressing tab to toggle through the different workbooks. Or you can go to the view tab on the ribbon and then choose switch windows and select the workbook you want to go to. Another way you can scroll through your worksheet is just using the mouse wheel. You can select tabs on the ribbon with your keyboard by clicking the alt key. This lights up the alt key shortcuts. For example, if I want to go back to the home tab, I press H and then the button alt keys are lit up. We can see conditional formatting is L. So if I press L, it opens the conditional formatting drop down. From here, I can continue to use the alt keys or I can use my up and down arrow keys to navigate through the menu. When I find the one I want, I can press the right arrow key and then continue with my arrow keys to navigate through the different options. And if I want to select more rules, simply press M or I can tab to that menu and press enter. And again, I can use my arrow keys and tab keys to navigate through the different options available. When I'm happy with my selections, I can press enter and it will execute OK. Otherwise, I can press escape to close the dialog box. OK, familiarize yourself with navigating around the workbook and I'll see you in the next lesson.